Hi, we're going to talk today about Houghton Mifflin Harcourt's Soar to Success. It's an intervention piece that is digital that will work with your GoMath online products. Once I'm logged in as a teacher into Think Central, I can simply click on Assignments, and you'll see in the center of the screen here the Soar to Success. Go ahead and click on that, and when you click on that, you'll see that the SOAR to Success um, has, does not realize that you have a class set up yet. So if you click on Add Classes here, it will actually run to Think Central, find the name of your class, and bring it back. It says, I do have a class there, and when I actually select that, now I can just say Save, and it now knows that I have a class that I can use in SOAR to Success. The next thing I want to do is click on my class, and again it's going to say this class has no students. At this point I can add or remove students. Again it runs to Think Central and it says, oh you do have students in that class. And if I were you, I would go ahead and put all of my students in the class. I only have two students registered, but you never know throughout the course of the year how many students are going to eventually need some intervention of some type. So it never hurts to just add all of your students and say OK. Now, at this point in time, we're ready to make assignments for our students, and we can actually just click on one student at a time, and you'll see that we have the option of assigning students by code. I like this option if you're going to just be making this assignment to one or two students. So when you click on Assign Students by Code, we're going to need to get some code numbers to do that. And in order to get those code numbers, what we're going to do is we're actually going to go back to our Think Central account, and we're going to go into our Teacher Edition. I've opened my Teacher Edition here, and I've gone to uh, an opening page of in any chapter. And you probably know that one of the par parts of an opening chapter materials are the Show What You Know. And on the bottom of those pages in your Teacher Edition, you'll notice that it has some diagnostic assessment opportunities for you. I call these if-then statements. And you'll find some SOAR to Success codes that you can actually enter here. Now there's another place also that you can find these SOAR to Success codes. This one I'm, I'm going to end up using 1.09. There's another place you can find these SOAR to Success codes. Again, in your teacher edition, as you probably know, the third step in every lesson then is the practice, and the first part of that is the share and show for us to determine, again, how our students are doing. And with that share and show, we have the quick check, and here's how we differentiate, and notice you'll also find some codes here. So here are the codes that you would use in order to assign those soar to success activities for your students. I'm going to go ahead and close my teacher edition and go back into soar. And again, I had the assignment by code, and I think it was 12.01, but I'll try this 12.01, save and it made that assignment for my student. So now I've created that assignment for my student and my student can actually log on and access that assignment. Now there is another way to make an assignment in SOAR to Success right from Think Central. So let me show you how that's done. I'll go ahead and close my SOAR and I can go back into Think Central, click on my assignments, and now I can click on Add Assignments. I had to click on that SOAR item the first time to set up my class anyway. So I choose Searchable Resource, Go, select my subject, my grade level, and my resource. And you'll see that SOAR to Success Go Math is listed toward the bottom of your screen. Find. It finds all of the warm-ups or all of the sort of success activities and they're actually listed in numerical order here. Now, the advantage to choosing to do your assignments from Think Central is this, the, the biggest advantage. If I click on it, by the way, it'll let me preview, but if I just put a check mark here, then I can actually click on Assign. And it takes me back to this page and what I can do at this point, you'll see where it has listed that, at this point, it will let me make that assignment to one student or more than one student if I want to. If all of my students are listed here, I could hold down my control and make that assignment to all of my students. Simply say save and those students now will have that assignment when they log in to Think Central. So this is the student screen when they log in to Think Central. They click on things to do and there's their SOAR to success assignment.